Hey guys, it is Damak here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're here for episode 30 of my Sheffield United career mode on FIFA 20. Now our first game there, as you can see, it is at Bramall Lane against Peterborough. Then we're followed up by a game against West Ham. Now, previous episode didn't go too well. We only won against Fulham. Uh, we lost against Everton and I can't remember who the first team were. Tottenham, I believe it was. But uh, today we've got this FA Cup match. Surely we can win it. Uh, we've got to play the East side, of course. I play them in all the cups just to get them experience. The league is our main focus. But hopefully we can beat Peterborough. They're like League 1 maybe or Championship side. So hopefully this can get finished off quickly. If you do go on to like the video, smash the like button. And also if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell if you want notifications whenever these videos go live. They will be more frequent along with a brand new series. Probably a player career mode and also some football manager stuff. Now I did say daily videos from Friday onwards, but I got home and I got met with this blue screen with uh, no signal she might. It did not go through to it, so I had to get a new monitor. We're back in action now, so hopefully there will be daily videos now. I'm planning on it, so hopefully I can just make that work. But let's go into this first game against Peter Butter. It's just into the new year, so we're just into the new transfer window. I've had a few requests, but I don't know if I can really take them out. I don't know if we have the budget for that. But let's go into this game against Peterborough. Bramall Lane surely will be bouncing after this. Well, at least I hope so. Every team I seem to underestimate, they seem to be so good. Here we are for a snowy day at Bramall Lane as we host Peterborough for the FA Cup. Don't know what round is, but we're facing them today. We're playing a youth side and surely this can be done easily. It is a, a very weak side that we are playing today. So our lineup today, we've got Verips and goals, Tomori, Hennigan, Basham and King are at the back. We've got Brendan Fagan, John Lindstrom, Ferguson and Thomas in the middle. And up top we've got McBurney. And then further up top is David Parkhouse. So we're playing a kind of a mix between the youth players and also the main players. Because after that Fulham game they're all quite tired. I didn't realise that it was so close together. But uh, we've got to deal with it how it is. And that's the lineup we're going with today for this FA Cup matchup. For Peterborough, we've got Chapman in goals, Naismith, Kent, Beavers and Blake Tracy at the back. They've got Ward, Woodyard, O'Hara and Dembele in the middle. They've got Isa and Tony up top for themselves. As it will be, David Parker is getting this game underway at Bramall Lane. Episode 30 is a go and we look to push on. It's quite difficult to see the ball actually. I didn't realise it was going to be snowing. We could have chosen a different colour ball. But nevertheless... Surely that can't be our excuse today. Surely we can win. As we're driving through the middle quite quickly. Nice football here. Straight away McBurney. Complaining to Lewis Ferguson. He tries to bring it down. But it does not work. We can still have the ball with Hennigan though. Ben Hennigan. I think it might be his first start this season. Haven't really played him that much this season. Haven't really tried to grow him that much. McBurney can find Park as he just nearly gets possession. But it's cleared away. Out for a throw in. In towards Lundstrom. Now it's Fagan. Through to McBurney. Skips away from the defender. Can he possibly play into the box? Oli McBurney's taking a poor touch there. Lundstrom goes to hit it. It's straight into the hands of Chapman though. That was our first real chance of the game. 20 minutes in. We've been controlling the middle of the park though. Forward once again. Thomas can find Ferguson. He can try to skip away. Plays into David Parkers. He's going to skip away. Parkers hits it. Straight into the back of the net. I did not expect that to go in. David Parkers puts us 1-0 up in the 21st minute. And would you look at that. Nice football here, Lewis Ferguson found David Park as he skipped away from his defender and put it to the bottom right corner past Chapman. Chapman, sorry, in the Peterborough goal. Look at that, drilled into the bottom corner. That's what I'm talking about. Well in from David Park as that's his first goal in the FA Cup. And I'm pretty sure this is our first fixture in the FA Cup, so that kind of makes sense. But uh, nevertheless, we're 1-0 up here at Bramall Lane. And uh, I did not think that was going in because the ball is the same colour as the snow, obviously. So I... Thomas inside in towards Lundstrom. He's going to cut back as John Lundstrom plays it through in towards Nathan Thomas. He's got a good run here. He's going to cut back though inside into David Parkhouse. You can see the run of Lundstrom. He hits it first time and into the back of the net. Great football there from Sheffield United. That's what we've been missing all season. Although we're against probably a League One side or a Championship side, the football we're playing is absolutely magnificent. In towards David Parkhouse. He played it through to Lundstrom first time from John Lundstrom into the top right corner. Would you look at that? I'm happy with this performance today. If we can do this against West Ham, that would be absolutely magnificent. I would not complain at all this episode. I mean, there's, surely there's something I can complain about. But uh, we're 2-0 up against Peterborough in the first half, of course. Morgan King with a lovely over-the-top through ball. 
in towards Nathan Thomas. I don't think he's going to be able to get it. Naismith with a poor touch, but it still ends up in Peterborough possession. Just on the brink of half time. Nothing is surely going to. That is half time, actually. No much has happened other than two goals for Sheffield United. Blake Trace with the ball over the top. Tomori can win that. Straight into Lundstrom. Straight to Tony once again. Dead belly now. Inside, in towards O'Hara, won by Ben Hennigan, into O'Hara once again, and it's into Dembele. And I don't know what happened there, we tried to clear it, it didn't work. Piabara have got back into this game straight away after halftime. He's going to celebrate, but none of his teammates have gone with him. Look at this, we got the ball with Hennigan, he tried to clear it, it just fell straight into their hands straight away in the second half. Dembele gets the goal, but uh, we're still 2-1 up. It's not the best result that we could have had, that's my complaint for today finally can make one but uh, we were dominating the game before that so it's a bit unfortunate that that's happened McBurney can find Luke Freeman looking for the ball is Luke Freeman he can play it through in towards Brendan Figgin he skipped past a few he plays it through to Tyler Smith I think he's offside but he puts it in the back of the net anyway he is offside that was so unfortunate but Brendan Fagan with a good run there to skip past about three players for Peterborough it's into the box from Debele onto the head of Tabori it's cleared away and Ravel Morrison can deal with it can he possibly get the winner? We've got three minutes out of time. Ravel Morrison is sprinting away from Tony. The strikers all the way back in defence. Ravel Morrison is going to do it. Is he? He's going to hit it. Oh, he's hit the post. It falls down to Luke Freeman. Oh, ever so close. Ever so close there to seal the deal. Luke Freeman on the volley, the left foot volley. Hit it. Good save by Chapman. Getting down to his right-hand side. It's out for our corner now. It's into the box for Luke Freeman. And it's cleared away by Dembele. Only as far as Basham. It's still in the box. And that is... Is it? No, it's not. It's an offside. It's nearly full time. There's seven seconds remaining. And that is finally full time. After a commanding start to the game, it kind of fizzled out a bit as P. But I kind of understood what we were doing. And in the end, we beat them 2-1. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Ramalina happy because we won. Goals from David Parkhouse and John Lundstrom sealed the deal against Peterborough United here at a snowy Bramall Lane. As if you look at the stats here, we had more shots, you know, we had more shots, but uh, we could have scored more. David Parkhouse got man of the match with a 9.2 rating. It was four saves for Chapman, six saves for Michael Verrips, and uh, we were busier in the net. So Crystal Palace have shown interest in buying Elise Musse for 8.2 million. I'm sorry, mate, but... I'm sorry Palace, but I don't want to sell Lise Musa. I'm going to reject that offer because he's one of the main players for ourselves. Lise Musa can get rid of him, playing quite well as well, so I don't want to risk uh, falling further down the table. So our next opponent's West Ham. They're currently five points behind us and they're two places behind us, so they will look to catch up to us after this game, but hopefully that does not happen. We go into our home ground once again, just off the back of a win in the FA Cup. This time we'll have our main players, so hopefully we can demolish West Ham. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to Bramall Lane. It's snowing once again on this Saturday afternoon as we're playing West Ham United, a team that are quite close to us in the league. They could possibly provide some damage. I don't know who exactly plays for them, but hopefully we can overcome them. Anyway, as you can see, our captain there, Ollie Norwood. Dean Henderson also back in the side for this game. So our starting lineup: Dean Henderson starts in goals with Baldock, Egan, Tamori and Stevens at the back. In the middle we've got Fleck, Morrison and Ollie Norwood. And up top we've got Ollie Watkins coming back in the starting lineup: Callum Robertson and Lise Mousse. Watkins back from injury, I only played him coming on as a sub before but he's back full time now. Fabianski starts in goals for West Ham, Bender, Balbuena, Vugani and Agaya at the back. Declan Rice is the CDM with Sola, Lanzini, Fornals and Felipe Anderson. The midfielders and Sebastian Haller starts up top for West Ham today. Quite a strong lineup. We've got to watch out for that left hand side of Philippe Anders Anderson. Sorry. Let's get underway with Callum Robertson on this snowy day once again at Bramall Lane. Holy Norway driving against the defence of West Ham. They're not coming up with anything to block it as John Fleck in the middle plays it inside into Callum Robertson. He just can't deal with the defence right now. They've got him in his pocket, in their pocket. Sorry. And we just need to just calm down. We're rushing these attacks. But the, this game is quite fast paced. Norwood down into Fleck. Looking. Need to find the runs. It's in to Callum Robinson. He plays it down. In towards Ravel Morrison. He turns and hits it. He's not got the right balance to hit that properly. And it's straight out Lucas Fabianski. Pretty sure that's our first shot of the day. 
because Norwood wins that header and we can we can drive forward because Philippe Anderson's picked that up. Can look quite dangerous into Philippe Anderson. He's skipped away from Bulldog. He's getting caught up though. He's cut back. Just need to watch this defence. It's Declan Rice. Now does Sebastian Haller. It's played through. No. Oh no. That is that is that is embarrassing for Dean Henderson. Declan Rice. This CDM just skipped underneath him. I thought that was rolling back into the back of the net, but it wasn't. It's out for a goal kick, and we're fine for now. Complete through into Ralph Morrison. That's a ball out wide into Lise Musse. Lise Musse can now find Ralph Morrison. Actually, he's played it down over Morrison into Callum Robson. Can he hit it? Yes, he can. It's into the back of the net. Is he offside? I don't think so. Callum Robson scores the first goal of the game here at Bramall Lane. In the 28th minute, I'm pretty sure that's our second shot on target. And in the end, it has come at the perfect time. We just can't seem to break down this defence. It failed to Caleb Robertson. He skipped away from number 14. I don't know who that is. I think it's Gaia. Yes, it is indeed. And Robertson on the right boot. Hit it straight past Lucas Fabianski into the top left corner. And it's 1-0 here at Bramall Lane. Can find Rafa Morrison. It's into Caleb Robertson. He tries to play it through. Rafa Morrison's kind of won it. He has, but he's put it wide. Rafa Morrison doing so well there to win the ball and he just drives it wide. John Fleck inside into Oli Norwood, he's on a yellow, we might need to sub him off soon. Falls to Rafa Morrison, now into Fleck, he hits it on the left boot, straight onto the crossbar. Very, very good shot from Fleck as we've won it once again. It's into Rafa Morrison from there to the box, it's blocked by Balbuena and Fabianski can easily pick that up and can clear it up the pitch. Into Stevens, cuts inside, in towards Tomori, a through ball from Tomori, can find Oli Norwood, now it's into Callum Robson, plays it through, Rafa Morrison first time, and boom, it's in the back of the net and we're 2-0 up against West Ham. Get in there, great football once again, Norwood plays it into Robson, he turned, played it into uh, Rafa Morrison, sorry, and look at that, Rafa Morrison on the right boot, straight past Lucas Fabianski, there is no stopping that. And that is his sixth goal this season. Very well in for Ralph Morrison. He's done so well. He's been there all season. And we're 2 0 up against West Ham. As we look to find the space, this is really something that we struggle with as Declan Rice blocks out one out. He's done so well today, Declan Rice. Too bad he's losing though. But he, uh, the, his team's played all right. But he's played so much better as Cam Robson skips away, hits it on the right boot. And straight off Fabianski, that one. A good, good pair on that shot, although he wasn't really on the right balance for it. Fernandes into Sola, now it's into Rice, Fernandes once again, plays it through, Sebastian Haller plays it back into Fernandes, he's hit it into the back of the net, and we just can't seem to get a clean sheet, can we? They've got a goal with one minute remaining, and they always every team that we play seems to get a goal in the dying minutes of the match. Look at that, that was a good shot, Dean Henderson could not get onto it. But that is full time, I've just passed it around the back, we need the win, and we have got it, it's 2-1 here at Bramall Lane, once again. Would you expect it? Probably not. We should have beat Peter Butter by more. But in the end, we won both the games today. Fantastic result. John Egan is a happy man. So we had so many more shots than West Ham. We had 13 to their 5, and then 6 on target to their 3. In the end, we come away 2-1 winners. As we look here, Ravel Morrison gets man of the match. Fabianski made 6 saves, whereas Henderson only made 4. Good game today at the snowy Bramall Lane once again. I don't know why it wasn't in December, but uh, that's UK weather for you. As we win this game against West Ham, and hopefully we can move further up the table with that. So, Monaco have paid the release clause, the 12.4 million release clause, shall I add, for Jack O'Connell. That would boost up our transfer budget, but also I hope he doesn't go because he is our depth. We He's a rotation player. He's the main centre-back that we have uh, without Tomori and Egan. So if one of them gets injured, then we have Basham or something, but Jack O'Connell's solid. In the end, it's up to him, and in the end, we get a lot of money if he does go. So I can't really complain. But let's look at our next game. This will be in the next episode. It is against Norwich, a team that are quite... I think they're struggling in the league so far. So we got our prize money for the FA Cup, but Jack O'Connell has been sold. He has agreed to go to Monaco. So that means we'll have to bring in another centre-back because I don't know if Basham is... I don't know. Should we use Basham as our main centre-back? Let's look at our players that we have. Here are our defenders. We've got Keen Bryan, John Egan, Ben Hennigan, Fikayo Tomori and Chris Basham. 
Basham's quite old and the rest of them are quite young. Egan, Tamori and Basham are our main players. Do you think we should get another centre back to cover for Jack O'Connell? Let me know up in the top right there will be a poll there as well. And also I think we should get another right back unless we have one in the youth team because George Baldock is doing all the work there, if not we play Tamori there. We need another right back to just rotate with George Baldock. So we do have 15.68 million in the bank, what do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to complete this objective and finish the season with 18 million unspent allocated funds? Or do you want me to buy a new player? I think we need a right back. So let me know down in the comments if you want, if you have anybody that I can sign at the right back position. If not, we'll have to look into our youth academy. So let's look at the league table before we round off this episode of Spurs. The champions of last season are winning it once again, but only by one point ahead of Liverpool. And then three points behind Liverpool are Man City and Man United. So the top four separated by four points still. It's very, very close. Liverpool only with that one defeat, and that was to ourselves. 4-0, we beat them. Don't ask me how, I don't know. Joint on points with Wolves. The best we can get this season is probably an eighth place, but I don't think we can get relegated. We're ever so close to this 40-point margin as well, so that means we surely will not get relegated. But if you look here, the gap between 13th and 14th is still very high. It's nine points. So 14th or below is the relegation battle, and uh, Derby, Norwich, and Brighton are the teams in that relegation zone. Norwich, we're playing them next, so that is very good. And then the game after that is against Stoke. So we're playing these teams that are trying to stay up and surely we'll beat them. They're not on many points. Derby are only on 11 points, which is reminiscent of their season in 2008. But surely in episode 31, we can win both their matches. If we don't, I'll be quite disappointed. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy it, smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want notifications whenever these videos go live. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any improvements to the series so I can make it better for you, the viewers. That's what I want. I want you to be able to watch it and enjoy the video. If there's anything that can make it a bit better, let me know. Also, if you have any players for me to sign, preferably a defender, preferably a right back, but a centre back would be appreciated as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.